Please unpack Hollow Earth for me because you said it and now I want to know everything about it. Well, Hollow Earth compare it it pales in comparison to Space is Fake. Space is Fake is the greatest conspiracy thing to dive into online. It's amazing. It's so fun. How do you how do you They think there are think lights in the sky? Like like these kind of lights. I don't know. There's a firmament. There's like a glass ceiling above it all. Nothing can go out there because there's nothing there. Didn't the Earth is flat? Didn't somebody land on the dark side of the moon the other day? China. Center China probe, did. I think. I think it was India. Uh, yeah, correct, correct, correct. Um, yeah, it's. Uh, I don't think Earth. I, I, the space can't be fake, right? It's amazing how many people are into it. If you just Google hashtag space is fake, you'll be taken to these random Instagram accounts. Now, and here's the thing about it. I don't know if they're real people, mm -hmm. but I don't know if it matters because it starts off. It could start off as like some Russian troll. Like they, there's these things called like the Internet Research Agency is one of them. These troll farms. You know, you know about these? No, but it makes okay. sense. Rene DeResta reported on it and some people... Uh, a lot of people have reported on it, but what it is is they have these places where there's thousands and thousands of accounts, and they set up like they, there's there's images of it where you see like rows of cell phones that are connected to this network, mm -hmm. and they have these people that have these the access to this these accounts, and they're posting things that are really stupid. They're posting things that are ridiculous conspiracy theories. They're posting things blaming Democrats for certain things and blaming Republicans for certain things. At one point in time, Facebook, 19 of their top 20 Christian sites were run by Russian troll farms. It's genius, like social sabotage at a very high level. And, and so they're they're interacting with people constantly online. So if you see people fighting on Twitter, if you say like a controversial post goes up about anything mm. and with foreign policy, trans rights, b abortion, Second Amendment, anything, yeah. if you go into one of those popular posts, you'll see all these like crazed right wing and crazed left wing opinions. Occasionally, you click on them. And if you go to, like, I should say occasionally, oftentimes you'll click on them and you go to a, a page that seems oddly unhuman. It seems fake. There's, it doesn't seem like a, a real personality behind it. And you go into it and you see that they're always engaging on these very specific issues and they're always being, like, very confrontational. And, and it kind of discourages people that disagree with them from interacting with them and it kind of encourages people that love to fight with people to fight back so you get all this interaction and these people do it to steer conversations and get people to lose faith in democracy lose faith in the police's ability to protect you lose faith in whether or not we can unite racially or sexually like whether we can be a, a, a harmonious country it's like designed to to keep conflict going it literally can accelerate conflict like gasoline on a fire and that you can engineer to a some certain extent i don't know what percentage but imagine Imagine it's five percent. You can five percent through these trolls engineer conversations in the public, and you could get people to, to do a lot of really dumb shit. Like if you wanted to get people to believe that the the Earth is flat, or if you wanted to get people to believe that the Earth is hollow and there's dinosaurs inside of it and aliens live in there, you could get people to believe that, and then they would start fighting about it online, and then you could get people to believe that, you know. There's been a bunch of them. There's been a bunch of them that are, that are like mainstream propaganda things, like the Russia collusion hoax with Trump. It took us like three years to figure that out. But now everybody knows. It didn't really happen the way they were saying it was happening every day on the news. If, if that can take place with like mainstream media, how much of like what people are fighting about is like engineered? Oh, man. How much of it? That might be the most evil thing I've ever heard in my entire life, to just control and design chaos. You definitely are encouraging chaos. Like if people, if people can still choose to engage or not engage, and that's where things get interesting.
That's terrible, man. I mean, the internet is already such a terrible, dark, mean place without that. You add that fuel on top of it, oh my god, it's no wonder people are depressed. What would really be scary is if you were forced to interact with people on the internet. Like, if the internet, if there was like a, a, a social, like a contract that you had to make where you had to give your opinions on certain issues, agree or mm. disagree. Gender affirming care is essential to a child. You know, like that kind yeah. of stuff. Yeah. Ooh, like agree, a sort of logged right. hours of opinions. Agree opinion or, or disagree. We have to move to 100% renewables by mm. 2030 at all costs. Agree or disagree. You know, oh. voter ID is racist. Agree or disagree. The climate Fuck. change is real and the science supports it. Agree or disagree. Vaccines are the most essential technology the medical science has ever created. Agree or disagree. What's crazy we is need people... to support the, the war in Ukraine, and the United States has never done anything to encourage Russia invading Ukraine, including helping NATO move arms closer to their border. Agree or disagree? What's terrifying Vaccines people... are safe and effective. <laughs> oh Agree or disagree? Imagine if you had to do that every couple of months and go over that, and that, that's how people decided... Yeah. Whether or not you could go to the grocery store today or you had to wait till Saturday or whether or not you could buy a plane ticket ever Whether you know like the thing is now people feel like Voluntarily they need to voice their opinions yeah. on those things, right? It's like for, for what at the end of the day for what they just like fighting they just love it's incredible man. Yeah, people they, like it. I hate the internet so much. Well, man. I love it. I, I always avoided it. it. You got to just avoid the stuff that sucks. Just avoid interacting with people in that way. It's just not good. It's not good for you. It's not good for them. It's not good for anybody. You know, you can you can interact with people and learn some interesting things, but at a certain level of fame, mm -hmm. that becomes really hard. Like, it's really hard. Yeah, you can't if you're just interacting with people. You're gonna get people that are doing things just to get your attention. I know. And one of the ways to get your attention is to I'm say so something bad negative. At that. Yeah, I'm so bad. I'm so confrontational. Is like I'm gonna get John Lennon for sure. Dude. Ha, don't say that, dude. I have, the amount of times somebody's been like, I'm gonna I'm gonna come to one of your shows and kick your ass. I've just like sent them my entire tour schedule and be like, you can come to any show you want. I cannot stand the confidence people have behind the internet. It's well, it's impeccable. not most of it's not real, but there are a few psychos out there. So I wouldn't, you know. I know, I know, people. I'm in, I know, I'm in the wrong for for responding like yeah, that. Don't I do just, that. I can't. Stand don't do that, fella. It, it gets yeah. my fucking blood boiling. And then, but when people know that you can't stand it, then they're gonna do it. Wrong. I know, yeah. I know. Jamie cut it <laughs> before they feed the fucking fire.